Welcome, this is Sig Taylor with Fish Out Loud. Hey, I'm gonna be talking about something that is real controversial, but I'm not gonna get into that, should it be banned, should it not be banned. I'm gonna talk about what's available to go out and catch big fish, all right? I've been using now forward-facing sonar now for about three or four years. Um, I heard about it, I saw it as a tool just to add to my arsenal, okay? Um, when I go out fishing, and I love to go fishing, and I love to catch big fish, if you're following me, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, but I want to optimize my time on the water. And if there's something out there that can help me do that, I'm going to do it. Matter of fact, so much so that if I were a captain or a guide, I would pay very close attention because you can smoke your competition by adding this forward-facing sonar. Because why? Well, you're out there to help your clients catch fish and you want to get them as fast as possible. One of the things too, if you're also bay fishing or inshore fishing, you want to look for structure and the best structure are bridges, okay? They're just for obvious reasons. They're like condominiums. They're like um, duplexes, threeplexes. Uh, these fish just con congregate around them from small bait fish, like I'm holding up here, a lipless crankbait by Nomad Design, which is a swim trex. Uh, max uh, to to large tarpon, large drum, large redfish, you name it, dolphins, manatees is going to be hanging around here. Okay, so um, I want to minimize my time. I want to go find these fish. Okay, and if you take a look, stay here long enough, watch the video, see how this forward-facing sonar works because not every bridge piling is created equal. Now, if you don't have forward-facing sonar, that's quite all right. I'm gonna teach you what I do to get these monsters out of these bridge pilings. And you gotta get, it, you gotta get them out fast. So I kinda of look at it, and I have fun with this. If you watch some of my videos, I have a lot of fun with this, like Uber Eats. I'm knocking on their front door. I will drop this lipless Nomad Design I like the three quarter ounce, but I use a lot of one ounce and half ounce. Matter of fact, I caught a 30 pound tarpon on a half ounce and it's a thread fin shad is the color that I like using, but I have other colors too. Any bait fish color is gonna work, okay? And so what I do is I drop it and take a look at this video and you'll see exactly what I do. I'm actually casting to each side of that piling and then down the middle of it also, looking for them to come out, kind of like an Uber Eats driver, I'm knocking on the door, they open the door, they are gonna eat it, okay, at some point. Um, I let it hit the bottom, if it makes it that far, and then I just zig it up, zig, rip, zig, rip, let it sink, and if they come out, eat it, they eat it good. Now, the key is getting them out the front door of their house, their condominium that they're in, I call it, getting them on the lawn, pulling on them. And it, it, it's a struggle here, man. Um, I'm using 40-pound braided line, and then I tie off a 30-pound um, leader on that. Um, I use fluorocarbon on that, 30-pound leader. But, man, if it touches one of those uh, bridge pilings, the barnacles, that line's gone. Okay, so you got to do whatever you can to pull them out. And you get them out, like I said, I get them out in the front yard, I drag them out to the sidewalk, get them out in the street. Um, and then I've still had monsters take me right back into the house, break me off. Um, and it's, it's frustrating. Uh, it, it's, and no matter how much you, you know, like or dislike forward facing sonar, when you get a fish on, that has nothing to do with it. Okay, so. Um, so think about that. I would get it if you have a chance to get it, but watch this video of how I work each piling and stay a little bit longer to how I use forward facing sonar and how you can see for yourself these fish that are hiding in there. And remember, you still got to get them to eat this. And when you do got to get, when you do get them to eat it, you still got to pull them out of there. Okay. Which is ultimate. I hope you can experience that as you're bay fishing these bridges, um, inshore fishing, find the structure and try to get them out of their homes, the condominiums. All right, guys, remember, you're just one cast away.
to go? Come here. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Woo! Hold on. Rippers. Okay, I got a piling that's pretty, pretty loaded here. Just kind of see if I can show you. You can see them. They're swimming around in here, these bridge monsters. That's just how it is. You see them in there? Kind of, it's kind of tough here. It's a little windy. Oh, wavy but if you just take a look close you can see those guys just swimming around there at the hotel pilings right there there's like all kinds of condos here they're in there different different depths we're up to um like i say 30 foot here actually yeah 30 foot all right guys that's what you're looking for you're just one cast away